Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we are here to keep things simple and fun. Do you ever head into a family photo shoot and think you have everything planned out and you have this idea, this idea, and this idea, and they're going to be the most adorable photos ever? Just to feel overwhelmed and frustrated as you leave because nothing went as planned? Well, we're here to hopefully help you feel at ease during those sessions and give you some ideas that will make photos look candid like everybody loves. Make sure to watch all the way through because we have something special just for you at the end. We promise to have you entering your next family photo shoot feeling confident and at ease with little stress as possible to get those candid photos that you're looking for. For the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications of future videos. Okay, so some important things that we wanna talk about before we even mention anything with candid in it is that it is important to remember little kids are not always easy to photograph because they are kids. The next thing, don't over plan and get upset that you didn't get the shots you wanted. A lot of times you're not gonna get every shot that you want. Don't stress out. The next thing when it comes to family photo sessions to remember is to educate mom and dad in advance. Let them know that kids will be kids. Don't stress out. It'll be okay. Rewards during this time are okay. So the ice cream, the, the Starburst, the Skittles, whatever it might be, that's totally fine. And let them know that it really helps that when you're taking photos, of the little kids especially, that it helps that they're directly behind the camera because those are the people that make them smile the most, are their mom and their dad. Another thing to remember, and this is a bonus that we've done before, is that you can create a little video, it could be a one minute video clip, introducing yourself as the photographer, the person that's gonna have the camera at the photo session and send it off to mom and dad so they can show the kids. So then when they get out of the car, or the mom van, maybe, they are going to see a photographer in a familiar face because you've already talked to them on video. Pull out a stuffed animal if you want. Do something silly so they remember you as being this fun person that they can't wait to meet. The next thing to remember is you will have to act crazy. You can't just stand behind the camera and be like, okay, smile, cheese. You have to be like kind of annoying. You're gonna annoy yourself with how annoying you are. You're going to have to be that way and you're going to see that when we put out a behind the scenes video of us pretty much acting insane. We had to. We had to to deal with the little boys we were photographing. So realize that it's not a big deal. So candid photography, something everybody says they just love those candid photos. How do you get such candid photos? Well, we are here to admit that candid photography isn't always candid necessarily. Obviously during a session filled with little kids, it can be candid because that might be all you get. With a little two-year-old boy running around like crazy, that's all you get is that candid shot because they won't sit still possibly. So there is that, but then there is also candid that's a little bit more planned. And we're here to talk a little bit about how we kind of do and set up candid planned photos. Okay, so at every photo shoot, we do basically the same three to four poses with each family and we vary it up in that pose and that is it. And then we move on with anything else, we can, bonus things we can get. So let's talk about those and how we make those candid. Okay, so pose number one that we always do is a standing pose. Typically we put mom and dad in the middle and the kids are surrounding them or they're holding the kids, whatever it might be. So we first start with them smiling at the camera. If the kids are having a hard time smiling at us, we definitely get on a reflector and we play peekaboo or make funny noises just to get them to laugh or smile a little bit anyway. Hey, if we get them all looking at the camera, sometimes, depending on the kids, we're happy with that. Okay, so we will start with the standing pose. They're all looking at us. Then we'll say, okay, everybody look at mom. Where's mom? What does mom have? Get all the, the whole family to look at mom. Then sometimes we have mom and dad look at each other while we try to get the kids to smile at us. And then sometimes we say, everybody go in for a big hug. Or we might say, all right, everybody tickle so-and-so. So we get all of these different candid reactions without really necessarily getting a candid shot. So we're planning it out a little bit, as you can see. Okay, so then we usually put them into a walking pose. 
And for this, it really, it doesn't matter what order they're in. We sometimes like mom and dad in the middle, doesn't really matter. But we like to vary up, as you can see in these pictures, in all of these pictures, maybe one or two people are looking at the camera, but look at how we're shooting at different angles. And it looks like they're just having fun strolling through the field. So you can really change it up. We do pick do ones where they are all looking at us too as they're walking, but we vary it up. Everybody look at dad, everybody giggle at somebody. We just keep varying it up to make it look nice and candid. Our go-to pose number three would be some sort of sitting pose, whether it be on a blanket or right on the ground, depending on the day. So for this, we typically put mom and dad in the middle and surround the kids wherever we feel fits the nicest in the photo. So then- Or, or where the, ki the kids will actually sit. Yeah, or where the kids will even sit. Cause sometimes it's a day with mom and sometimes they want the day with dad. So in that case, we will try and get everyone to smile at us and then we will go from there. So again, we'll go into the maybe hug, mom, everybody look at dad, everybody tickles so-and-so. Then what we like to do sometimes too, instead of just getting a straight on photo, is we will then stand up and maybe just at, in that sitting pose, get a photo of the kids looking up at our camera and maybe mom and dad are looking at each other. So just constantly varying it up. And you, you almost have to be pretty quick about it because we know that little kids don't like to sit still for very long. We want you to comment below. Tell us what was one thing in those three go-to poses we just talked about that might be a small little variation that you can try with your families at your next session. Now, some bonus poses we do if we have time, if we have cooperation, or if we're stuck in the middle and we're like, okay, they're not even gonna stand with their parents, sit with their parents, we throw these in. So the first one we throw in, obviously with the littler kids, not older kids, we throw in ring around the rosy and we have them spin around and that starts to make them giggle and have some fun. So this is an option to do with little kids. What kid doesn't like to run under a little tunnel? So we sometimes bring a blanket or maybe they bring a blanket we have the parents throw it in the air and we just have the kids run back and forth and just get that candid shot and tell mom and dad, watch the kids run through. It's as simple as that. So now if you take a look at this one, this these two boys at this session were just super energetic, didn't really want to sit still, weren't interested in posing next to mom and dad as we had them walking and it just wasn't looking the way we wanted. So we're like, you know what? Let's have mom and dad and baby Brindley in the back and let's let the boys run towards us and have some fun. So this created a candid shot and they got to do something fun that they wanted to do. And it was a bonus to us because it was still a family photo. It wasn't just a photo of the boys, even though mom and dad there are blurred a little bit in the background with the little one, we still have the entire family in one photo because sometimes that's all you might get and that's okay. Another bonus is we like to set the kids up in front and mom and dad are behind them and we say, okay, mom and dad are going to come and run up and give you a great big hug, but you're not gonna know when. So we just tell mom and dad, whenever you feel ready, run up and just give them a great big hug and you get this nice candid shot that you see here. Okay, so now that you have some ideas on how to create these candid shots, and now that you know that you're not the only one that deals with stressful situations with families, all photographers do. Um, so now we know this is a little overwhelming and we wanna kinda help simplify it a little bit. So we have a session planning worksheet down in the description below, and it also is going to give you some posing tips as well. So make sure to check that out. Make sure to stay tuned for our next video on behind the scenes of what we just talked about. So we're gonna have a family photo session and you're gonna watch us right behind the scenes and learn some of the things that we just discussed. Also, there's one little bonus feature in addition to all of this that you will see below in the description. And if you've ever struggled with blurry photos or they're just not as sharp and in focus as you want them, We've given you some helpful tips in a link below, so make sure to check that out. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and like the video, share it with a friend, let us know in the comments below so we can make more videos just like this one. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram for more photography tips and tricks. We'll see you next time.